I want to talk about this toaster. This is our toaster. It's got a bear on it. It was about 1260 yen, which is like 15 bucks or something. And Katie bought it at either a place called Hard Off or House Off. Yes, I said Hard Off or House Off. And um, they are like um, places where you can buy like used appliances and used video game stuff. And uh, House Off has like clothes and things as well. Um, think kind of like a really clean, nice pawn shop without like any crackheads there. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of that same sort of vibe without the scary part. So anyways, this toaster is um, amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of toast in this toaster. All right. And then I'm going to start toasting. And I have a couple other things to talk about. One of them being this. And this is the new addition to um, our uh, arsenal of electronic gadgets. And this is a Sony um, Cybershot DSC HX20V, which is like the lamest name in the world for a camera. Well, I guess they're all lame, aren't they? But anyway, so this camera is our new camera. And it is replacing this camera which is a Panasonic DMC TS1. And I want to talk about this camera because we sh we used it a lot. So in 2009, before Katie and I traveled around the world, we got this camera. And the reason we got it is because it shot HD video and was waterproof. And um, I can tell you now it's destruct proof. Like you cannot break this camera. It is a tank. And it has served us amazingly. So any video that you've seen that we've shot in the last forever, has been shot with this camera. So like the video quality for a camera with a tiny little lens and with no like attachable units and like DSLR baloney things, all this stuff that I don't understand. For that, it's an amazing, amazing camera. Um, the video quality is pretty good. The zooming in the video, I mean, who zooms in video? We do sometimes, we're stupid, but you can hear it like clicking and stuff. So in that case, it's really not that good. And the image quality, when you take like a photograph, is kind of, it's really not that good. So um, the reason that we're replacing it is because it has lost its ability to be waterproof, um, which is like expected, like there's a rubber seal, I guess, inside, and it has stopped functioning. So <clears throat> at some point when we were, we were using it, um, it got wet and then moisture got inside of the lens and now there's like fog inside the lens and it's just, it's barely noticeable, but it kind of bothers us. And also we just thought, you know, it'd be fun to have a new camera to play with something that has good image quality and actually takes much better video than what this does, despite it being quite incredible. But I want to go ahead and just say like, this thing is a tank. You cannot break these. Um, we have beat the crap out of it. It has gotten wet inside of itself multiple times and aside from that minor fogging, it works great. So if you're looking for a waterproof camera, I'd really look into the Panasonic, it's Panasonic, like waterproof Lumix line, I guess. I'm not sure they still make them like this anymore, but this one's amazing. Like, I remember one time I had it in my hand like this and I fell on a curb and like it caught it like this on the curb and I, all my weight on the camera and it just got a little bit, it just got a little scratched up. It's all good to go. But anyway, so new camera and um, or old camera and new camera, which we now have and I'm learning to use it and hopefully um, hopefully things are looking awesome. So in other news, um, I kind of wanted to apologize that we haven't really had a whole lot of videos lately. Um, We've been really busy with rebuilding our website and putting it all in order so it's easy to like browse through the hundreds of videos that we've got and like so you can see them chronologically and go by country and find things without it like being a nightmare and that's taken a tremendous amount of time and I also had a friend in town at the beginning of November and we went um, like all over the place. We went to Nikko and Tokyo and Kyoto and Osaka and Himeji and like he was here for 10 days and like every day we were like, go, 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 go. So we did a lot of stuff and I actually shot a lot of video during that time, but I haven't watched any of it yet. And I don't know when Katie's not there, like she wasn't with us a lot of the time when she's not there. I don't like, I'm not comfortable shooting video. So it always comes off like awkward and I'm like, what am I doing? It's really lame. Maybe that's how this video is coming off because Katie's not here. So I'm going to watch that video footage and if it's any good, the toast is done. If it's any good, then I'll edit together and make a video. Um, we do have a plan for another video that's gonna like explain, like we're gonna break down like what it costs and how to find a job here and like 
the practicalities of how to move to Japan, like being a foreigner. Um, it's going to focus on our perspective a lot, which is going to be like um, teaching English. And that's, you know, that's how we did this. So that's going to be another video idea that we've got. And I really hope it's up sooner than this, but honestly, probably pushing into January because right now December's about to begin and I want to finish up this website and I want to go through and maybe make that Kyoto video. And then I want to go through and, um, I want to go through and, um, train of thought, <laughs> make the Kyoto video. And then uh, with the holidays and everything at the end of the month, it's just going to be really busy. So I'm going to, I'm not going to put my foot down and say, I'll have it done soon, but hopefully we'll have this video of like how to move and live in Japan, um, in, in January. Um, on that note, if anybody has any ideas on videos they'd like to see of things that we could make in Japan, because we're kind of running out of ideas. I mean, we had that, that four, four, um, four part Japan special that's like three and a half hours or something that we shot the first year we were here. And like, we're kind of like, people are like, oh, I want to see more. And I'm just kind of like, McDonald's has interesting burgers. Like, is that, is that, is that enough? <laughs> but I kind of, I kind of doubt that. So anyway, if anybody has any ideas, pop an idea in the in the comments and maybe I'll run with it. Um, I don't know, what, what's interesting? What do you want to see? And um, I wanna apologize also for making a video where I'm just sitting here in my apartment talking. I know a lot of people do this about Japan and it's really boring. So I try not to do this, but, 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 most people aren't doing this. Most people aren't making bear bread. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> like, that's a way I frame a video, folks.